Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly, fly Fishing. And welcome to my series on getting started in fly fishing. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at a good fly rod for smallmouth bass fishing. A lot of people will uh, flip over to smallmouth bass in the middle of the summer when uh, the water temperatures get a little hot for trout. And there's a lot of uh, options for picking your first rod for bass fishing. Now, when I mentioned about Picking a rod for trout fishing, we're concerned about length to fit the type of water we're fishing. Well, when we're fishing for smallmouth, it's rarely in really tight uh, conditions. So a nine foot rod is going to be almost standard for uh, smallmouth bass rods. You know, a nine foot six weight like this one, very, very typical that you might use for a smallmouth bass. And, you know, there will be a few rods that are shorter or maybe longer. But I'd probably say, probably a safe bet that 95% of all uh, smallmouth fly anglers are using a nine foot rod. So let's just say nine foot and then move on from there. Now you have basically uh, two choices or two considerations really in terms of the flies. If you're not casting big flies and you're not casting big poppers, especially poppers, big poppers, then you can get away with a nine foot five weight or a nine foot six weight like this one. They'll work just fine for the average size streamer, the smaller poppers, uh, sliders, um, clouser minnows, that sort of thing. A rod like this will handle it just fine. And uh, you know, really you're going to a six weight, not because of the size of the fish, not because of the water they're living in, strictly because of the size of flies you're gonna be casting. Uh, a nine foot five weight could do the job, but this will do the job a little easier. However, there's another consideration. Sometimes we wanna use really big flies. You know, they're really big poppers. Sometimes we're gonna be using the same rod for largemouth bass, maybe for pike. Also, carp. One of the things I've run into is that carp often live in the same water as smallmouth and they'll often take the same flies. So sometimes you can get a carp surprise when you're fishing for smallmouth. And for those situations, you might want a nine foot eight weight instead. The eight weight will make the job of casting big flies in the wind a lot easier. You'll be able to get better distance out of it under those conditions. You'll be able to cover more water. If you do encounter a carp, you don't have to worry about it. And you can use this eight weight rod for a variety of other purposes. So if you're planning going largemouth bass fishing or pike fishing, or maybe you want to go after some salmon, whatever it is, well, you're better off buying an eight weight. And yeah, it's a bit heavy for smallmouth, but you're going to be able to do a broad range of fishing with it. Uh, and, you know, and uh, plus the fact when you're casting a big fly, it'll make the job an awful lot easier. And if you get a good smallmouth on this rod, trust me, it'll put a big bend in it. You don't have to worry about that. So really, whether you're going to go with the, the six weight or the eight weight is going to really be dependent on, on what other kinds of fishing you're going to be doing and what size of fly that you're going to be casting. I'd say for most situations, you can work, work with a, an eight, a nine foot six weight, but the nine foot eight weight might give you more options for other kinds of fishing. And as I say, a good size smallmouth will really put a big bend in the rod. So you can look at a nine foot rod, you don't have to worry about other lengths, but you can think of whether you want to go with the five weight, which is really light, a six weight, which is a good all rounder, or the heavy end, which is the eight weight. And uh, that'll cover your smallmouth bass fishing quite nicely. Cheers.